Waco, or is it, is it Waco? It's not Waco, it's Waco. It's Waco. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, and you. All right, we're off to Waco today. Not Waco. Glad I cleared that up. <laughs> and we're doing a speed challenge. Kind of like a warm up for this tamale contest I'm doing tomorrow. Apparently, you only get 12 minutes to finish. So it might be a tough one. Dave's Burger Barn, which is quite literally just a barn. Remember our golden rule though? If it looks a bit shabby from the outside, that probably means the food's gonna be spectacular. This is the one we're doing today. Dave's Zipper Ripper Challenge. Which has got a bit of an Aussie sound to it. Street, mate, you trying Dave's Zipper Ripper Challenge? It's Bonza. Is that just me? It's probably just me. Really, I'm in the arse oh, end of nowhere here. Screenshot my location, send it to Mrs. Beard. Hi! Yeah, I heard you got a, some kind of burger challenge. Yeah, right here. Yeah? Right there, right there. There's another picture, big one right here. The rules and everything by the Right, okay, I'll, I'll, t I'll take a look. So these are the rules for the Zipper Ripper challenge. You must eat all your food in 12 minutes, no chipmunking according to the staff. No help from anyone. Five patties, five strips of bacon, five slices of cheese, one pan of fries, and uh, one drink. Plus all the uh, vegetables. 34 95 if you don't make it. And your picture on the wall, Shane, we can't have that. Oh, and if you do it successfully, you do get a free t-shirt. They must be pretty proud of the challenge because the Zipper Ripper is pretty much mentioned on everything, even the drinks machine. Got a little uh, rug with it on too. Oh, look at these. I don't know what they are, but they look pretty yummy. I could maybe save a little bit of room for one of these afterwards. Uh, no, drink this right now. You, yeah, I know you have to drink the, drink the, with the drink milk. That with it. I get it, that's cheating. Cool. I get it, yeah. Well, it's like they just get full on liquid. Ah, so, uh, well, yeah, there is that, I guess. Yeah. Okay, it comes at 37.83. There are quite a few people on the Wall of Fame. Naturally, not as many as are on the Wall of Shame, but I should be able to do it, right? If this many people have done it successfully. Ooh, that's pretty, it's pretty big. Every, everything on the plate inside 12 minutes. Yes. And if you do it inside 12 minutes, meal's free and you get a t-shirt. Yes. What do you think I want to be on? Do you think I'll be on the wall of shame or the wall of fame? The wall of fame. Do you think the wall of fame? Yes. Right, I'll let you, you, you start the time whenever you're ready and I'll... Oh, it's on the wall right. behind me. Right behind Ooh, that's snazzy. Right, let's get started. Well, as snazzy as a novelty stopwatch on a corrugated metal wall can be, I guess. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode, the seventh installment from the trip to Oklahoma slash Texas. Today we're in Texas, Waco more specifically, at Dave's Burger Barn, having a crack at the Zipper Ripper Challenge. I did ask the staff how it got its name, but um, nobody seemed to know, which I suppose adds to the mystery a little bit. But you get 12 short minutes to eat a five patty burger, topped with cheese, bacon and veggies, a 32 ounce drink of your choice, although I think it does have to be fizzy, and uh, a pound of fries, well it's supposed to be a pound, this is more than a pound, but you know, who's counting? If you finish, you get a $35 meal on the house, spot on that left column of the wall of fame back there, and you're supposed to get a shirt too, we'll see about that. I don't actually know if I have any, uh, any room left in my, in my suitcase to take all these shirts back. Whoa. What burger face are you going to? We're almost done with the burger. Ooh, the bottom is nice and juicy. Ain't it just? I told you about that golden rule. If the place looks a bit on the, uh, the rustic side, the food is normally solid and this was no exception. This geezer looks a bit confused. I try to set his mind at ease, yeah. <laughs> Kind of uh, casual salute there. It'll be all right. I feel you've got napkins. <laughs> Thank you. See, that bystander was a bit more into it. He uh, he went to the trouble of wishing me good luck, which I thought was nice. <laughs> I need some napkins. <laughs> yeah, luckily, you're not prohibited from standing up and walking around a bit with this one, which is a relief because the bird is starting to look somewhat befouled. So we're going to need to get a few napkins. It should have gotten before I started, but you know me. 
look at this. <laughs> I wasn't fully committed to running, so I did kind of a half dad jog back to my seat. Oh. Can't have you looking at my beard in that condition for the remaining eight minutes. Yeah, you can kind of see it on the wall back there. So it's, it's a bit blurry since the foreground's in focus. But yeah, eight minutes remaining and just the fries to go. Normally at this juncture, I'd start whinging and whining. But these things, were, they were actually pleasantly surprising. Bit of poetry for you there. A little bit more than a pound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was pretty evident from the get-go. But as I mentioned, they were, they were incredibly enjoyable. So for once, you're actually, this could be a first. You're not gonna catch me complaining. All right, cool, thank you. Well, that lady seems convinced. Still a few chips to go, though. Normally, I hate when, um, when you know, when food challenges, they just pad it out with fries, but these were some of the nicest I've ever had, genuinely. They've got a very unique flavor, probably not for everyone. They taste almost sweet and sour, but I enjoyed them. Almost there, almost. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get a move on then, lad. I think I'm trying to contrive a, a nail biting finish. <laughs> you know, waiting for the clock to tick down a bit. They didn't have any, predictably, didn't have any t-shirts, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you at the next one. I don't think I'm finished yet. I've got a little bit of drink to go. You'll probably never hear me say this again, but those fries were flipping delicious. Quite an appropriate song to uh, come on the radio. Another one back to dust, right? How do you cook those fries? Is that like a secret recipe? Because they taste amazing. Yeah? Those are probably the best chips I've ever had. Oh, we call them chips in England, right? The reason I decided to do a small love one today is because I got that tamale eating world championship tomorrow. But I, I really feel like I want to have something a little bit sweet. Yeah. Some kind of rice crispy cake. Maybe I should be DQ'd for that. That is technically a little bit of debris on the cup there. <laughs> Let's try some of this cookies and cream rice crispy cake. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. Sadly, they don't have any t-shirts in which is depressing, but they are going to send me one. Not sure what the shipping cost will be on that, but um, I'll expect it in the mail in, I don't know, four months maybe. <laughs>